My name is Topsy Ojo and I play wing. And what nickname do your teammates know you by? Uh, just T really, short and sweet. <laughs> and can you remember what age you were when you were first introduced to a rugby ball? Uh, I was about 11 years old. I started playing at my, uh, my secondary school, Dartford Grammar, and she picked it up there and just kept playing right the way through. So uh, that was going to be my next question. Who was the first team you played for? Was yeah, that, that it was. Done? It was my school team. It was, um, which year seven, you know, young, playing it with your mates, and just really picked it up, really loved it, and uh, just kept going with it. And you know, here we are, some <laughs> fifteen odd years later, or whatever it is, and still going and still enjoying it. Hey, can you remember uh, what rugby team that you supported as a boy? Um, I didn't really have a favourite team as such, but I did used to sort of follow Bath and Leicester because they were the big teams when I first really started getting involved in rugby. Um, and then obviously, as it got more serious for me, London Irish came calling, and you know, I ended up signing with them. Yeah. And uh, what was the first game of rugby you watched live? Uh, it was it was an Irish game. Uh, it was Irish versus Quins at the Medeski. Um, Gosh, I can't even remember how many years ago it was, but I do remember we drew because uh, Barry Everett had a penalty. I think it was the last kick of the game, and it just fell like inches short to try and win it. Uh, so I ended up, I think it was about 29 all. Yeah, so that was the first game I saw. Uh, shortly followed, I think, by the Power Gen Cup final. I think it was. So yeah, yeah, we are going back. It's about 2002, I think that yeah. is. Yeah. And uh, who's been the biggest influence uh, on your career? Um, Good one. Uh, obviously, family have been been quite important. I mean, they've been very supportive of me pursuing this rugby dream, and you know, obviously, travelling up and down the country, you know, out of the country to come and watch me play. I think you kind of need that sort of that structure around you, and they've been fantastic for me. And uh, who is the best player you've played with and against? Um, Couple. Best players I've played with, probably, I'd have to tie it between Mike Cat and Celana Mapasua. I think just the skills that they showed on the pitch, you know, just how they played the game. I mean, you know, the, the top players at the sport, and you know, I know I benefited a lot from playing alongside both of them. Um, best player I've played against. Uh, I don't know, from an individual performance, I'd say probably playing against Dan Carter for England. I think, you know, he's a quality player and I think he just ran the show that day. So from one guy to just, you know, make a team tick completely, I think it was him that day. What's the best thing about playing for London Irish? Um, it's just playing in, playing in this team, playing in an expansive team that likes to play good rugby, which suits me perfectly because I know I'm going to get opportunity to then showcase what I can do so the brand of rugby that we play and the ethos with the team you know it's great for me you know we want to have a good time we want to win but we also want to play the game in well I guess you call it the right way but you know we don't want to play 10-man rugby you know we want to really have a go and show the skills that the players we've got have. And can you tell us something about yourself that people wouldn't necessarily know? Um, I think of. I'm currently studying a business degree at the Open Uni. Uh, I don't think many people know that. Uh, and I have two goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it about watching live rugby that you think somebody contemplating going to London Irish's next game would like? I think it's just the atmosphere in the stadium. I mean, uh, going to a good competitive game, like any of our home games, you know, if you get there, you can't really experience it on TV, you have to come and watch it, get involved with the fans, with the chants, with the support, sort of, you get a better feel for the tensions going on on the pitch as well, and you really get involved in it, so, I mean, you know, watching rugby at home is fine, but I think to really experience it and to know what it's about, you have to come and see a live game.